history class. My name is Ms. Robles, and today we're going to learn about comparing two fractions of the same numerator and denominator. Let's start off by saying our vocabulary word that we've learned previously, which is equivalent. Equivalent is meaning equal in value. So for our first example, we have Jasmine and we have Kelsey. They each have a whole pizza to themselves. Our first question is, Jasmine eats two slices of pizza. How many slices of pizza does Kelsey have to eat to have eaten the same amount as Jasmine? So first off, let's see. Jasmine is eating two slices of pizza. Each slice is equal to one third. To find out how much pizza Jasmine has eaten, let's go ahead and add each piece of pizza. So the first slice is one third, and then we add the other slice, which is one third. Since the denominators are the same, we're able to just add across. So one plus one is two, and the denominator will always stay the same, which is three. So Jasmine has eaten two thirds of her pizza. To find out how many slices Kelsey has to eat to have eaten two thirds the same amount as Jasmine, we're going to see how many slices it takes to add up to two thirds. So let's start off by doing two slices, the same amount that Jasmine has eaten. So if we take our two slices and we add them to see how much we get, you have one six plus one six, and since the denominators are the same, you have, you can add straight across, which would be one plus one equals two, and of course the denominator will always stay the same as six. Since we get two six, we are going to have to simplify it to see what the lowest the fraction can get. And by doing that, we're going to find the LCF of each numerator and denominator. So for the denominator, our LCF would be one and six, and then you break it down to get two, three. And for this one, the LCF of two is multiples one and two. And since two is the least common factor for each, we are going to simplify by dividing the numerator and denominator each by two. So when doing that, you get one third. So two slices of Kelsey's pizza equals one slice of Jasmine's pizza. So that's one third and that equals one slice. So now what we have to do is we have to find the amount of two more slices of Jasmine of Kelsey's pizza. And so we do the same thing. We will add this equals two six, which equals one third. And so now to find the amount of two slices again, we're going to do one six plus one six and since they're the same denominator, you're able to add straight across, which one plus one is two, and the denominator will always say six. So again, you get two six, and to simplify it, we do the LCF again, which would be one and two, one six, you break down the six, you get two three, and the LCF will be two. So that means you divide the numerator and denominator by two and you get one third. So in order to have the same amount as Jasmine, Kelsey has to eat four slices of pizza. And so once you get the two fractions of one third, plus one third, that equals, since you're able to add across since you have the same denominator, you get two thirds. So Kelsey has to eat four slices of pizza to have eaten 
two-thirds the same amount as jasmine. That's our first example. Now for our second example. Hold on. So now we're going to move on to our next example. We have Jathan and we have Swayze. Jathan is eating one slice of pie. One slice of pie equals one third. So Jason's slice of pie equals one third. How many slices of pie does Swayze have to eat to have eaten the same amount of pie as Jason? So we know that Jason ate one slice and one slice equals one third. So to figure out this, we're going to assume that Swayze has eaten three slices of pie. So let's see if Swayze's three slices of pie equals Jathan's one slice of pie that equals one third. Mm -hmm. Let's add up. So one slice is one sixth and another slice is one sixth. And our third slice is one sixth. Since the denominators are all equal in the same number, we can add straight across. So one plus one plus one equals three. And since the denominators are all the same, our denominator will say as six. Our fraction comes out to three over six. So we have to simplify it to make sure that it's at its lowest value. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the least common factor of three over six. So the first one, you have three, and the multiples of three are one and three. With six, you have one, six, and then you break down six and you get two thirds. Two and three. So the LCF of each will be three. So that means we are going to divide our fraction, the numerator and the denominator, by three. So when you do that, your fraction comes out to one half. Uh-oh. Swayze has eaten one half of her pie, and Jathan has only eaten one third. So if Swayze were to eat three slices of pie, that would not come out to the same amount as Jathan. So three slices can't be right. So let's see what other slices we can do to figure it out. So let's put these slices back to Swayze. And instead of trying three slices, let's try only two slices. So if Swayze only eats two slices of pie, and we add up her slices of pie to see what we get, we will get one slice, which equals one six, plus the other slice, which is equal to one six. And since the denominators are the same, once again, you can add straight across. One plus one is two, and the denominator will just carry over to six. So your fraction will be two six. And when we simplify it, we go over and we find the least common factor of each number. So for two, you get one times two equals two. And that's the least common you can get. So that would be two. And six, you get one and six. And then you break down the six and you get two and three. So this will match this, and two will be your least common factor of two and six. So since two is our least common factor, we will divide the numerator and the denominator by two. So two divided by two, you get one, and two divided by six is three. One third equals two slices of pie, which is the same amount as Jason. So Swayze has to have eaten two slices of pie to have equal the one slice of pie that Jason has eaten, which equals one third. So for our last example,
example, we have Wyatt and we have Andres. It's Wyatt's birthday, and he decides he's going to have one slice of his birthday cake, which equals one half. So when Wyatt eats his one slice of cake, his slice is equal to one half. So his fraction is one over two. How many slices of cake does Andres have to eat to have eaten the same amount as Wyatt? So we know that Wyatt ate one slice and that one slice is equal to one half. Let's come over here to Andres and let's say Andres eats three slices of cake because he thinks that since his one slice is really big, he's going to eat three slices of his birthday cake. So, three slices for Andres. Let's see what that comes out to. So, what we're going to do is we're going to add one fourth, which equals one slice, plus another slice, which is one fourth, plus his third slice, one fourth. Since the denominators are all the same, we're able to add just straight across. So his one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth equals three. And since the denominators are the same, they're just going to carry over and stay four. So his fraction is three fourths. Since three fourths does not have Let's see if they have any of these common factors. 3, the multiples of 3 would be 1 and 3. And 4 would be 1, 4. And you break down the 4 and you get 2 and 2. 3 and 4 do not have any of these common factors. So 3 fourths, we'll just say 3 fourths. Now does 3 fourths match why it's fraction of one half? I don't think so. I think Andres has eaten too much cake. So we're going to have to go back and see what we can do to solve this problem. So let's erase this and bring back Andres's full cake. How about we try two slices of cake and see what we get. So if Andres eats two slices of cake, his fraction will look like this. 1 fourth plus 1 fourth. And once again, since they are the same, you can add straight across. And you get 2 over 4, since 4 will go straight over. Andres' fraction, 2 fourths, is 2 fourths. So now we have to simplify it to see what we get. So by doing that, we'll go over here and find the least common factors. 2, 1 times 2 is 2, and 4, you get 1 times 4, which is 4, and you come down and you break it down to 2 times 2. You see that 2 and 2 down here are matching. So the least common factor of each multiple would be 2. So with that, now we come over here and we'll divide the numerator and the denominator by 2. After doing that, you get 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 2 divided by 4 is 2. So Andres' 2 slices of pie equals 2 fourths, and after you simplify it, you get 1 half. So we see that Andres' is two slices of pie is equivalent to Wyatt's one slice of pie that equals one half. Okay, boys and girls, well, I hope you were able to understand how we compare two fractions with the same numerator and denominator.